It's time for Call of Duty fans to assemble, because their newest release, Call of Duty Vanguard, is coming. What's the new campaign like? When is it coming out? Well, we're about to answer all the questions everyone is asking about Call of Duty Vanguard and more, so don't go anywhere. When is it coming out? Activision and Sledgehammer Games revealed Call of Duty Vanguard during a special event a couple of weeks ago. As you might already know, this upcoming 2021 game is set during World War II, and unlike Sledgehammer, Hammer's last game, Call of Duty World War II, Vanguard will take place across different fronts, but don't you think that makes the game more interesting? The game is all set to release on November 5th, 2021. You'll be happy to know that it's widely accessible and is releasing on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X S, Xbox One, and PC. The PC port is currently being developed and perfected by Beanox. What's the new campaign like? If you're wondering what the new game's campaign is like, you'll be happy to know that it takes you on quite an adventure. The story is based across four theaters of war. These include the Western Front, the Eastern Front, North Africa, and the South Pacific. The campaign will also be following four special ops soldiers who form the game's multinational task force one. These characters are some of the most creative ones you'll find and include Sergeant Arthur Kingsley, who's part of the British 9th Parachute Battalion, Lieutenant Polina Petrova, who's part of Soviet's 138th Rifle Division, Captain Wade Jackson, the classic American Navy SEAL, who's part of Scouting Squadron 6, and Lieutenant Lucas Riggs, who's an Australian and part of the 20th Battalion. Did you know that this game is being developed with the same engine and technology that was used in Infinity War's Modern Warfare? Modern Warfare was released in 2019 and gained speedy popularity because of its technology and design. The same engine used for Vanguard adds destructible environments to the game, giving more agency to the players. The amazing multiplayer option. But the engine isn't the only defining feature of this game. It also has a solid multiplayer option which will be revealed at the game's launch. The creators have also revealed that the game will include 20 maps. You can also expect lots of gun customization because Gunsmith is doing all the work. Also, keep your eyes peeled for custom ballistics because they're making their debut in Vanguard. The buzz phrase chosen by Activision and Sledgehammer this time is down the barrel gunplay, which used to be boots on the ground gameplay in the past couple of years. This is probably because the creators wanted to emphasize on World War II Arsenal with Vanguard compared to the more modern loadouts in games like Modern Warfare. The tentpole mode has been changed too, and Champion Hill is now the new tentpole mode, which gives a very intense gunfight vibe. So this time, users can play 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3 in a fantastic arena tournament. This arena tournament is based on four maps that gives players various options when they're running solo or when they're choosing to play with more than just one friend. More horrifying zombies and a new map. Treyarch is leading zombies this time, so you can bet that zombies are going to be top notch. You might even see some story mix-ups between the game and Black Ops' Cold War. So if you're a zombies fan, this is good news for you. Treyarch is also the top Call of Duty studio when it comes to zombie modes, so you can be assured you'll be experiencing the most realistic and horrifying zombies out there. Warzone will be integrated with this year's Call of Duty, but Raven Studios is also developing an entirely new map for the Vanguard version of the game. And even though the two games will share the same tech, which was not the case for Warzone and Black Ops Cold War, you should expect the gaming experience to be more uniform than usual. You can grab the open beta. You'll be pleased to know that the start of Vanguard's second beta weekend, which starts from Thursday, September 16th, and ends on Saturday, September 18th, will either be an open or early access beta. And it's even better if you're a PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 owner, because this means that for the first two days of this weekend, you won't have to pre-order. But if you have an Xbox Series X or S, Xbox One, or even PC, the first two days of the beta will be considered as the early access period where you'll be required to place a pre-order. If you're not big on pre-orders, don't worry. You won't have to do a lot of work. In fact, digital pre-orders will be registered for early access automatically. The rest of Vanguard's beta period is expected to last from Saturday, September 18th to Monday, September 20th, and will be accessible to all players across all existing platforms. This means you won't even have to worry about pre-ordering the beta version in the second week of the open beta period. But do keep in mind that Xbox Series X and S, along with Xbox One and Xbox Live Gold, isn't required for this particular part of the beta. You'll even have the option of playing with your friends, so long as you have each other's Activision IDs 
because crossplay is now a thing. Tons of ways to play. Did you know that Vanguard has 16 maps for traditional core play? That's right. Four of these maps are for 2v2 gunfights, and one has the Champion Hill experience, and this is what players can expect day one to look like for Vanguard's multiplayer. Like everything else in the game, these maps have been designed carefully to take place across a wide variety of different global environments, so they won't just take you around the world, but they'll also add a distinct Vanguard flavor to it. So you should probably be ready to host an abundance of game modes when you play. One of these include the mode called Outside of Champion Hill. This is a frantic tournament for players, solos, duos, and trios. And Vanguard introduces another new game mode called Patrol. This is an objective-based mode that is based on hardpoint and features a scoring zone that is moving constantly. So if operators want to rack up some serious points for their teams, they'll need to keep moving around the map within this patrol point. Other interesting modes you'll get to enjoy include Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, Domination, and Search and Destroy. If you're a Call of Duty fan, you probably already know about some of these, and Vanguard is bringing them back. But these are just some of the ones returning with this new game. The game features a variety of other modes, some of which are being developed right now. Maybe we'll experience some updates after the game is finally out. Developed Combat Pacing But even though you'll be acquainted with some of these modes since they're returning from previous games, Vanguard does offer a completely new combat pacing system. This pacing system has a new dynamic which works with player choice, so when you're getting ready to play the multiplayer option, here are a couple of combat pacing options that will be available to you. Tactical is one of the lobbies that Call of Duty fans know quite well. This is because you experience the classic Call of Duty combat timing with the Tactical option. It's also important to note that tactical combat pacing is always 6v6. Another combat pacing option is known as Assault. This option basically provides balanced combat pacing that gives you just enough room to breathe. It also gives you lots of targets to kill. If you didn't already know, Assault is considered a middle ground between tactical and Blitz. This is why Blitz is right next on our list. This combat pacing option involves high action lobbies, which makes it unbelievably intense, so you should prepare for plenty of combat combat if you choose to join Blitz. Those who want to hop right into the game can also set the combat pacing setting to all. This will give you a variety of combat paces between each match, which is similar to how Quick Play allows you to hop between the different modes you select during the game. Working with clans and group rewards in Vanguard. Playing the game with your friends makes it even better, and you can expect more innovations this time when you play as a squad, because the game features an all-new clan system. This clan system is based on elements from the Modern Warfare Regiment system, which came out in 2019. Clans in the game will feature emblems and bespoke progression, but this isn't all. You even get to unlock battle pass related rewards for your entire group. But the best thing about Vanguard is that it's cross-generational and cross-platform, so no soldier will be left behind, quite literally. So Vanguard is almost here, and it's going to be a blast. And now that you've got a rundown of the basics, keep an eye out for more Vanguard updates before the game officially comes out this November. Let us know what you thought about this video, and don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.